Hello readers, I'm the Avid Reader and today I'm reviewing Ruled Britannia written by Harry Turtledove in 2002. So this is a novel about what if the Spanish conquered England in the 1580s and 1590s and it's also about William Shakespeare. The plot of this book is basically William Shakespeare gets the instruction to write a play to get the English to rebel against the Spanish and to free Queen Elizabeth I of England. And there are two point of views in this book. You have William Shakespeare, of course, but you also have Lope de Vega, who's a famous Spanish playwright. So since the Spanish have taken over England in the late 16th century, you have now the English Inquisition, so everyone has to be Catholic now. Anyone suspected of being Protestant or homosexual will be harassed, and you better not have any sympathies towards Queen Elizabeth. And one of the sources of conflict in this novel is that Shakespeare gets commissioned to write two plays. So he gets commissioned by William Cecil, who is an English noble, to write a play which Shakespeare calls Bodica. And this is a play about the Romans treating the English horribly. It's an analogy to the Spanish doing the same thing to the English. Thus, this is supposed to rile up the English people and overthrow the Spanish conquerors. Soon afterwards, William Shakespeare is also commissioned to write a play called King Philip. This play is going going to be about the current Spanish king, King Philip II, who's gonna die soon. He goes to some diner and he writes these plays. He's got some mistress there called Kate that he sleeps with regularly. He's afraid that someone's gonna discover his revolutionary play he's writing. He's still a playwright. We get to see some of these performances and some old English spoken of the 16th century. And at that company, you have a couple of people who are loyal to the Spanish, they're murdered. So William Shakespeare is kind of suspect. You also have Lope de Vega, who's also a Spanish soldier, who comes along often and talks with William Shakespeare as Lope de Vega is an admirer of him. Lieutenant Lope de Vega, he likes to sleep around with a lot of women, so he has a bunch of mistresses regularly that he tries to seduce. And one of these women is a mistress to a Spanish nobleman who has a duel with and kills, and he leaves her. And Lope tries to seduce some women at the place that William Shakespeare rents, and she's suspected to be a witch, so we see during the many nights where you have Shakespeare writing, she comes along with her cat and she's previously hypnotized some guy. Later on, you have Lope de Vega, who meets upon an Englishman who's also a playwright, Christopher Marlowe, and it turns out he's a homosexual. So as a soldier, Lope de Vega has the duty to arrest him, but the guy resists, they fight, and Lope de Vega kills him. It's announced that the Spanish king has died. William Shakespeare is to perform his play about King Philip, but instead he decides to perform Boudicca, and he's dressed the Romans in Spanish gear instead, so everyone understands the analogy clearly. And you have Lope de Vega, seduced by the so-called witch, so he forgets his duties, and then he goes drinking a little bit. During this time, you have William Shakespeare, who performs his play, and it riles up the English people, and they just go nuts, start killing a bunch of Spanish soldiers, and go to the tower, where you have the Queen Elizabeth I captured. And Lope eventually awakes from his drunken state. He goes back to his barracks. He realizes what has happened. He rallies up a squad of soldiers, tries to stop what Shakespeare has done. They're attacked, so he goes back to the barracks. He rallies up the company of his superior, Captain Guzman, and they march to stop the Englishman. You have a bloody battle. The captain is killed. Lope de Vega is knocked unconscious. And eventually at the tower, you have the Queen Elizabeth I who's freed. She makes a speech that rallies the English people. The people who have been put on the English throne by the Spanish, they basically leave England and go to the Netherlands. You have Lope de Vega who awakes from his state, dresses as an Englishman, finds a knife and he's going to kill the woman who tricked him and slept with him to stop him from revealing important information. He goes to Shakespeare's lodging, he tries to kill her, Shakespeare catches him and successfully stops him from going too far and Lope de Vega is arrested and he's put along with other Spanish prisoners of war. Later you have William Shakespeare performing the play Bodica again but this time in front of the Queen and after that he's named the knight Sir William Shakespeare. He's afterwards summoned by the Queen, he gets a few wishes so she gives him some money. He wishes to get divorced and marry his mistress Kate. He then requests that he can perform the play King Philip because it was a good play he says and he requests the release of Lope de Vega and his wishes are granted. Lope is released and he has one last meal with Shakespeare until he hops on a boat on the way to the Spanish Netherlands. So that's the story. So how would I rate Ruled Britannia? I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. This is Turtle Love's really mediocre book, I'd say. All other books by Turtle Love basically, they're good or they're great. But this one, 
is subpar compared to the rest. I know he's writing about Shakespeare and old 16th century England. I just don't like the writing style and I don't like the way the playwright talk in a semi-philosophical way. It seems kind of aristocratic. It's kind of confusing with all the characters and their interchanges. And you have a bunch of lines of some place, so that's kind of boring for me. But there's some good action scenes. I prefer the character of Lope de Vega compared to Shakespeare. It was fun to read about his flings with women and his fights. But you get to see Shakespeare's plays and writing a lot. And when he writes also during the evening a lot. That's a little boring. The plot of the story itself is interesting that you're gonna restore the Queen Elizabeth I to the English throne and kick out the Spanish. But the atmosphere in this book, it's just kind of dry for me. It's not really bad, but it's not really good. So would I recommend this book, Rule Britannia? It depends. If you like recent history like me, so 19th century and beyond, no, I would not recommend this book. Since it's written in a way that you won't find familiar. You have tensions between Protestants and Catholics, so you might not find that that interesting. All the arcane language they use gets kind of annoying. But if you want to read about the England of the 16th century or if you want to understand the Spanish Armada and the Spanish Inquisition, then this would be a decent book to read. So overall a 6 out of 10. Kind of a disappointing read, Turtle Dove, but I know you've written much better. And if you want to know about other Turtle Dove books that aren't great, like Rule Britannia, then I recommend you to read Joe Steele by Turtle Dove also. This is basically about what if Joseph Stalin became president in the United States? Sounds stupid, but it's a good book, although it has some flaws, but not as many flaws as Rule Britannia. Anyways, I'm the Avid Reader, and I will see you, readers, next time.